Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. <clears throat> it is Amber with the Hormone Hack. I haven't gone live in a while. I was kind of fighting a cold, but it is gone now. And I'm back to working out. I haven't worked out in like a week. But honestly, um, my workout was good today. It wasn't like dying coming back. You know, usually in the past, especially when I was eating not right, um, I would work out take time off like a week or two and struggle hard to come back and just thought I was gonna die when I did my workout but ever since I've transitioned over to uh, the eating plan style lifestyle that I teach you it's not it's not a big deal at all I feel great so um, I'm sure I'll be a little sore tomorrow but I definitely did not struggle in the aspect like I thought I wasn't gonna get through my workout so anyway I want to come on here today and just talk to you about why the keto diet is failing. Um, if you listen to my podcast, I went in depth in this um, earlier today. I released a podcast. You can go to anchor.fm forward slash the hormone hack. That's where it's housed. But if you listen to Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, um, I think it's even on Google. Um, it's, it's on all the platforms. So find your favorite platform and look up the hormone hack and it's there. Subscribe to it. I put out new podcasts once or twice a week, but um, basically what I was talking about is U.S. New World News and Report come out with their top diets of 2020, and the keto diet was second to last on their list for 2020, and um, everyone's kind of talking about it right now, especially on social media, and kind of the reasons why. You know, I've always, I started try to, trying to do keto, but I always found myself being limited in choices and burning out of my food choices, and then... Ultimately, you know, burnout leads to bad decisions and bad decisions lead to um, not eating the correct way in the aspect that you can keep weight off and gaining weight. So, you know, that's kind of where it goes. But ultimately, if you understand keto, like to the true aspect of what keto was originally intended for, back in the 1920s, they had um, s discovered it because they were looking for a way to... Uh, control people with seizures and epilepsy and they found out that uh, the keto diet when you take out carbs helps people to um, control seizures and that's basically kind of where it came from but in the addition to that they noticed that people lost fat quickly lost weight quickly and they liked the way that they looked and they liked the way that they felt because you're burning energy and you're creating this new energy and so that's why keto became so popular and then so on and so forth here we are today people still practice keto but the truth of the matter is keto is meant honestly for emergency mode and it's meant for like if your body is in starvation and you cannot find any food on the earth keto taps into that stored fuel source of fat and it is to keep you alive. So yes, it brings glucose to the brain and all these things. The whole point of it is it's okay to bounce in and out of it, but to stay in a long-term of state of what they call ketosis in the long run can really damage the inside of your body. You may be like, man, I look great, but you go to the doctor and you've got some imbalances, magnesium issues, potassium issues, you're not getting enough nutrients, and pretty soon you're having hair issues, you're having nail issues, and your hormones are way out of whack. So, you know, keto, is starting to find itself kind of on that fad out, I believe. And I think people are not looking for the diet. I know that a lot of people, when they get into these New Year's resolutions, they're like, yes, I am going to do keto because it's the quickest, easiest way for me to look a certain way. And that's fine. I think looking um, is fine. You want to look a certain way. I think more importantly, you need to focus on transforming your body from the inside out using food as medicine. And when you focus on the idea that yes I need to lower my blood pressure I need to lower my cholesterol I need to get my iron up I need to do all these things uh, fix my blood sugar levels so they're not so up and down all the time you focus on those things the outside things just happen because if you focus on the outside things it's basically a crash and burn you'll be good for a month or two and then boom you're done you're like crash and burn I'm done you know and that stuff follows you just have to trust the process and it really does work so you know keto is great I don't I don't think it's ideal for me. I think it's okay, definitely, for people who need to, they're in that emergency mode where it's like, you need to lose weight now, and your doctor has said, hey, I've, you've got to do something drastic now or something really bad could happen. Those type of situations, I think, um, can constitute it, but I also know it's not meant to be there for the long term. So, you know, 
keto is great to start, but I think you really need to transition into a lifestyle. And what I like to teach people is timed eating. Everybody knows it as intermittent fasting, but more importantly, it's flipping it in your mind to be like, there is a timing to everything. And there is a timing to what type of food you eat and when. And when you can fit it into this block of time and you use a strategy to put it all together, you become a fat burning machine instead of running on terrible fuel like water, like gasoline in your gas tank, you're running on jet fuel and you are constantly burning clean, you're constantly burning fat even while you sleep and you're constantly losing the weight and automatically your muscles are gonna tighten, your skin's gonna tighten and those results that you're looking for are going to happen. And you do this in a rinse and a repeat process and the whole point of it is to do two, all, of the, all of the above of the things that you want. You wanna lose weight, you wanna lose fat, you wanna lower your blood pressure, you wanna lower your, um, risk of type 2 diabetes, you want to look good, you want to tighten skin, and you want to do all these things, and going back to the basics is where it's at. And so if you're looking for a, going back to the basics, but not living in deprivation, not letting people tiptoe around your latest diet trend, you know, the keto or paleo, or I think, I think the Atkins, is it Atkins? Somebody just rebranded theirs. I thought it was like Atkins 20 or 40. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. I just know that that number that they put there is the number of carbs in a day that they want you to not eat past. And typically that's somewhere in the 20 to 30 grams. And if, to give you an idea of what 20 to 30 grams is in a day that they're saying to not eat past in carbs is a medium sized banana. That's keto. So anyway, if you don't want to live in deprivation and you want to live in a lifestyle and have a strategy put together where you hack food labels, hack your food, and you don't necessarily have to give up everything that you love, we find a different way to eat it and we have a place for it in your timed eating window, then go to thehormonehack.com forward slash life. That's what I teach, that's what it is. It's food in the real world where you really live. We leverage it for weight loss and fat loss and we put it in a timed eating window and you rinse and repeat it and you get all the results you're looking for and you don't have to be boxed into this heavy ball and chain of constant don't, 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 don't. It's let's do this instead of this. Let's do this instead of this. And let's do that instead of that. So anyway, if you like this video, please pass it on. If you have not subscribed to the podcast, like I said, I house it at anchor.fm forward slash the hormone hack, but you can also go on Spotify, Stitcher, iTunes. I think it's on Google. Like I said, it's on nine different platforms. So find your favorite platform and subscribe to it. I'm also on Instagram at the hormone hack, YouTube type in the hormone hack and subscribe to my channel. I'm on Twitter at my name and I am also on LinkedIn at my name. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next video. If I can help you out, let me know and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.